Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today I have another um, holiday card for you guys. Hopefully you can see all this beautiful sparkle. Um, I again am using the Dashing Deer Bundle, but we've also used some shimmer paint, gold foil, um, just some fun embellishments to really make this card elegant. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how I did this. Again, I am using the Dashing Deer Bundles. You can purchase this bundle in my online store and save 10%. Um, this is a wonderful set that I have been using this week. Um, I just love it. I love the large deers as the, since they coordinate with the dyes. And then there's lots of nice little accent pieces in here. And the sentiments are awesome too. Um, so we're going to be using that. I've also pre-die cut snowflakes out of the seasonal layer thinlets. Um, just to save some time, since these are so intricate and have pieces, I thought I would do that in advance um, to use on our card. And then for our card base, I'm using a piece of thick whisper white. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have two more pieces of whisper white. Um, this piece that we're going to use the shimmer paint on is three and a half by five. Um, the top layer piece is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I have a scrap piece of Whisper White that's about an inch wide. Um, we're going to do our emboss our sentiment um, on here and then, you know, cut that down. Um, so like I said, we are using the gold shimmer paint, the Vegas gold. Um, we're going to do some heat embossing. So we're going to use our Versamark, our embossing buddy, our gold embossed powder, some of our gold thread. Um, really going to make this nice and elegant. Um, we're going to use our metallic pearls as well as our gold metallic edge ribbon. Um, so this is actually vanilla um, in the center, but it works perfectly since we've used so much of the gold on our card. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll start with our shimmer paint piece so that we can get that done. Let me grab myself a fresh piece of grid paper here. All right, we're going to shake up our shimmer paint. You can hear that little ball in there. And then I like to store my shimmer paint in the packaging that it comes in with a little sponge dauber. Keeps everything together. And we are just going to freehand uh, these stripes that I've created on the background. And this dries really fast, um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of dry time. I want a little bit more of that gold, you know, a little stronger on the edges that are going to show more. You can just use the edge of your, your dauber to do that. Love it. Okay. Let me set that aside. Okay, now we'll take that top layer of Whisper White. This is the three and a quarter by four and three quarters, and we're going to lay down all of our snowflakes. So I'm going to grab my large blocks because I like to use those to hold things. I'm going to start with my large snowflake. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't think I'll use that last one. Okay, so let's leave that set aside. I'm going to leave my block on that. And then I guess we'll go ahead, why don't we do our uh, heat embossing. So I have my one inch piece here. I have my embossing buddy. So I'm going to oops, wipe that over. I'm going to grab my gold embossing powder. Get my Versamark. Let me grab our sentiment. We are using Happiest Christmas Wishes. And I just want to make sure that's nice and inked up. And we will stamp that down. 
gorgeous. All right, and now since I have my gold powder in my container here, it makes it really easy to just pick that up and spread it right over. Great way to keep your embossed powder in a little container. It makes it super easy. All right, let's go ahead and emboss this with my heat tool, which still barely reaches. Okay. So there is our sentiment. Let's bring back in our card base. The thick whisper white and the thick vanilla make just such a, a lovely base. It's got a nice weight to it. You just need to be sure you score it well um, and use your bone folder. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to add some adhesive to our gold shimmer paint layer. And I want to kind of offset this just like that. Let's grab our snowflake layer. The, there's something about the white on white that just is so elegant um, when you add any kind of metallic you know, color, whether it's gold, silver, um, copper, it just really, really pops. So we are going to layer this on top, just like that. And let's grab our big shot and we'll cut out our beautiful deer. So I have my big shot here. I have a piece of gold foil. And we are going to lay down our beautiful deer. And I'm just going to run this through, back it up. just pop right out. See? I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of my deer. And then I'm going to wrap some of this gold thread just kind of around three fingers here. I don't want too much play. And I just kind of want it to, to stand out from behind the deer just to give it a little bit more gold. So I'm going to lay that in there and you can kind of then manipulate this, you know, however you want. And I think that's good. Okay. And then we're going to lay our deer down on our card. And then I would take my triple banner punch here. I think I'll just trim off some of that because I know that's already too long. And then we're going to flag the end of this. I, think I want it a little shorter. Stick it in. Take some more. That looks better. I think my deer was a little higher on my original, but that's okay. Um, I'm also going to bring in a piece of this metallic edge ribbon. So I want to angle. Okay, now let's put some adhesive down the center of our sentiment. And we will lay that over our metallic ribbon. And then I'm gonna grab some of our metallic pearls in the gold. And we're going to add these here also. Was I out of frame there? I apologize, guys, if I was. I think these kind of just finish it off. And there we go. There is our lovely card. I just think these are so elegant. Um, so this set, you know, is just a must-have. You can use it so many different ways, incorporate it with other products. 
Um, as you know, I love that shimmer paint, and how easy was that to create our own background? So I thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you come back um, or subscribe to my channel to watch some more. You can find a full supply list of the products we use today um, in the description of the video. So you can pick those up in my online store using this month's host code. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.